I'm back with another video on sociology optional subject for UPSC 3SC mains examination. So this video on theory of alienation by Karl Marx, a sociological thinkers. So here we are going to cover the theory of Karl Marx that is alienation. In the next video we will we see mode of production, a theory by Karl Marx, then class struggle and Karl Marx will be then completed. So now these are the theories of Karl Marx that we have to study. So here the theory of alienation. The literal meaning is of alienation is estrangement from self. Basically it is a psycho-emotional stage of an individual in which they lose interest in themselves and subconsciously respond to their physiological needs. So before Karl Marx, many theories present in psychology to understand and explain it are David Riesman in his book Lonely Crowd wrote in Western society every individual is so busy that they do not have time for others. So then individualism is at is at its peak where everybody living in crowd yet lonely leading to alienation eric Fram, hegel etc are also explained religious psychological factor of alienation then karl marx rejected all theories of alienation by calling it abstract and unscientific so then he believes that it is a universal phenomena but it is widespread at peak in industrial capitalist society. Then he identified four stages of alienation in an industrial society. And the four stages are from the process of production, alienation from product, alienation from co-workers, alienation from self. Now from the first point that is from the process of production is the man is creating being but when they create object they get satisfaction and identity and Marx called it as, as objectification of labor so whenever a man create an object it gets satisfaction and identity but in industrial society objects are created by machines whereas man is working in factories and where they are working and not creating anything so Marx called it as the objectification of labor hence the workers are not attached to with their jobs and feel alienated from the process of production sorry for the spelling mistakes so now then we move to the next point or the next stage that is alienation from product in pre-modern society production is mean for basically consumption and the producer was full having control on product and had a sense of belong belonging or attachment with product they have made as it belongs to him but in industrial society the product are made for market and hence out of control of producer because it do not belong to him because it will be finally go to the consumer then it leads to the alienation of product or from the product then third point that is alienation from co-workers or colleagues so basically in pre-industrial society production was group effort and its outcome was commonly shared hence there is a sense of camaraderie meaning friendship among the co-workers but in industrial society due to few promotions and incentives there is a sense of competition among co-workers they conspire among each other and feel detached with their colleagues so Marx called it as an alienation from the co-workers then the another level of alienation is alienation from self since in workers life nothing is satisfactory in terms of job satisfaction exploitation bad relation with co-workers etc so then it will ultimately a time will comes when individual get detached from self 
Marx concluded that alienation is universal, but it increases in industrial capitalist society because the nature of economy is that here all the things is mean for the profit, not for the consumption. Hence, machines and profit are the two most powerful reason behind this among industrial worker, since. it lies in industrial capitalist economy so the solution also lies in the abolition of it so there is also sir such some criticism or other view with regard to the alienation theory of karl marx so c w mills said that he agreed with karl marx that alienation and creativity do have relation but he said it will be a will be at peak in service sector employees because here in service sector capable objects have been replaced by capital subject then herbert bloomer said he studied alienation and mechanization in his study mechanization means we can say that automation that many industries of england and uh, of england he studies many uh, industries of england and explain it through the u curve and this part he has mechanization and in this part he has alienation so basically u curve method tells that mechanization and alienation are directly proportional so he found that alienation is high in automatic sector or automation sector or due to automation factories in comparison to handicraft and cottage industry then herbert marcus he agreed with karl marx that alienation and non creativity do have relationship but he also said that it will not only occur among workers but also among industrialists then an another sociologist melvin seaman said that he do not agree with karl marx conclusion he said alienation is an individual phenomena which may cause due to five reasons that first one is namelessness then powerlessness then normlessness then due to isolation and then due to self estrangement so now the fa- final conclusion if you will be asked as we know that in upsc answer writing we have to make an balanced view that this is or all will be or the this topic will be right in this sense and right in this sense so we have to make the blend of both and give the answer or the conclusion and the conclusion here is alienation is an universal phenomena discussed in religion psychology sociology etc but before karl marx religion and psychological theory were dominant but by <coughs> but after karl marx and durkheim they tried to explain it as an external from individual because so lies in capitalism and industrial socio economic structure so later many changes were made in industrial format to reduce alienation like fixation of working hours with flexi timing system of holidays and leave then development of free creational activities like singing dancing picnic sports social securities and etc so it leads to the improvement of condition of worker during karl marx and but during the karl marx the condition of workers was much more pathetic exploitative and inconvenient than today but in today's world also monotonous monotonous moto sorry monotonous nature of job in today's economy is also a reality company have done many more things to reduce it but they have succeeded to an extent only but the scenario has changed because sometime getting bored of the job necessarily do not means that it leads to the alienation so thanking for we were watching this video please subscribe to the channel for the more videos as i already said that i cover the whole socially optional subject free of course so thank you for watching the video thank you.